not terribly long ago I showed you the uh, new pool pump and the gray hose that's driving it and that's all still here and still works great uh, like I explained in the Sproing 2021 video the uh, old pump had died and I was choking it with this green hose but when I first moved here this pool as bad as you've seen it in previous years was absolutely disgusting and I have a picture of that which I'm going to put up on the screen right here and now and I was faced with a problem because that water like you saw was totally black it was clear if you just put your hand in at the top but the rest was just forget it and what I ended up doing was something you're not supposed to do this being a vinyl line pool you should never drain them all the way and I was faced with draining it and potentially having to get a new liner or spending thousands of dollars having a pool dick come and try to clean it so I decided I was just gonna try doing it myself and hope for the best and it ended up working out and that liner ended up lasting 10 or 11 years past that maybe even more Sharky probably would remember <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah there's some water that has collected here from the rain uh, I'm not really going to drain it much today because it's going to rain bad tomorrow. Um, somebody had asked if the thing had worked over here. I guess not. I guess not. Oh well, just noticed that now. Well, that's the end of this one. That's great. When I drained this pool, I didn't have the pool pump hooked up and didn't know about sending water to waste or backwashing or I, I knew nothing. All I knew is I had to drain this pool and I had the cover pump, which was actually this one right here. So I decided that I would just put that in and for a couple hours each day when I came home from work, I would plug it in and let it chooch in that. And after a day or so, I realized, hmm, this is, I mean, this is still water. I could do something with that. Maybe I could water the lawn with it. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't have this green hose on it at the time. That came later because the hose I had was just what was left behind here, which was a normal, like, 5 8 inch diameter hose. So, um... I wasn't strangling it, but I did have a sprinkler hooked up, and I still have that very same sprinkler that I used. And I'm going to go and get that and hook it up to this new pump. So with a brand new pump, which this really was only a couple of years old at the time, plus a good hose on it, let's see what we can do. This was the very sprinkler I used. It's been sitting outside um, since. So what are we, I think this July I'll be here 15 years, so uh, we got uh, a couple of bugs crawling on it, we got green shit growing in it, it's dirty, there's like dirt inside of it, I don't know if you can see, there's like slugs and shit underneath it, potato bug, it still turns. I think it used to lock into position. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to go too well, but anyways, I'm going to see if I can clean this up and we'll see if it still works. Obviously, the sun has faded. It used to be that yellow and now it's not that yellow. I hope I don't have to take the screw out and actually do that. Oh, I think this is the piece that locks it in position, which doesn't is like an ant or some shit on it. Nope, maybe a baby potato bug. I don't know if you can see him there. Right there. Little tiny baby potato bug. Well, uh, let me go wash this off. Remember that video I had a long time ago called 
the earth heals itself. This was going to become one with the earth. There was so much dirt. It's cleaner. I didn't scrub it or clean everything out. Totally plugged. Still didn't get all the dirt out of it, but at least water flows now. I had to take it apart. There was so much dirt under this thing. I think this is called a turret sprinkler. I'm going to guess this might have been a Gilmore, but I'm not sure. Um, it's cracked there. Why it's blue in the crack, I, I have no idea. But uh, I had to take this apart to clean it. This screw is rusty and stripped out, but somehow at the 11th hour, I just got it out of there and was able to take it apart. Every single one of the patterns here completely plugged. It had to dig it out with a screwdriver and some probably still aren't going to work. This was the one I remember using it on, but even with that hooked up to the uh, uh, pull cover pump, there were leaves and all kinds of nasty shit in there that the pump would suck up, send down the hose, and I'd have to come out like every 10 minutes, shut it off and like clean it out because it would get clogged up. There's no washer in it, so I'm going to go steal one from somewhere and hopefully the dirt that's in there will just get blown out. And I hope this is making a good enough seal. I, I didn't see any other way to do it really. It just sort of fit. It sounds rubbery. Sort of clicks in place. So I'll give it a shot. At the time, in case anybody was curious, I didn't even have uh, in-ground sprinklers. So this was like one of the sprinklers I had that was here until I got the rest of my collection. And that's really it. So it's maiden voyage time and the first time in almost 15 years. Let's see what'll happen. It works. It actually works. Holy crap. I can't believe it. It works just like it did. That's awesome. It works just like it did. That water is spraying pretty high too. Hard to tell. Mm, up to about there for what you could tell with that. And as far as the little dancing going on there, like that, I'll see if I could zoom in a little more. Yep, it always did that. Even when brand new, not running off the pool cover pump. But this is running strictly off the pool cover pump. I guess uh, while we're in it, I'll zoom you back out. And I'm going to have to just run back and forth a thousand times and switch it around because some of them are full circle, some are half, and great. This is that full circle pattern of the same variety where you get little jets coming out like it was. So let's try that. Yeah, that's about what it did. This sprinkler was never great. Let's try the next one. This one is the strip setting, so it'll squirt out both ways like that. That one is chooching very nicely. Right out to the sides and wetting everything on the table. That's working well. That was really handy that particular selection for various places. That was handy. I used to use that at my dad's house on the side of the house. It was kind of narrow. Uh, I don't know how long I've actually had this sprinkler. Probably well over 20 years. Well, let's try the next one. This is like the first one except it's a fan spray 
a half circle. You get all the wonderful air each time, so you can see that. That's cool. And we'll zoom in on that one. This way everybody can see the fan. All righty. And now we'll do the last one. Exactly the same except full circle. Might have some crud in it still. The full circle ones on this never sprayed right. But the pool cover pump puts out a decent amount of pressure. So there we go, something I haven't done in almost 15 years, running the sprinkler off the pool pump. <laughs> it watered the lawn, it did the trick. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.